it's going in and out, but I, I don't think so, but all right, we'll try it. Here you go. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Robert A. Seibel Field here in Somerset, Wisconsin. And thank you for joining us tonight. For those of you new to the Spartan live stream, we are a team of educators, office staff, and students and student athletes that orchestrate this program each and every broadcast. My name is Keaton Anderson, science teacher here at Somerset High School, and guiding this broadcast alongside me are Cody Wallen, social studies teacher, and Will Rossmiller, who is an English teacher. They produce all and every broadcast, and without them, without these two fine people, not any broadcast would be available to you guys. So the Somerset community thanks you both. We're now watching the starting lineups for Somerset. We just got to watch Bloomer be announced, and now the Somerset starting lineups are out. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Um, for those of you that were trying to tune in yesterday, there was a massive storm that blew in, and we were not able to even play or participate in football action yesterday at all. It was lightning. It was a light show outside last night for sure. So thank you for tuning back in. Hopefully you, um, if you, if you know somebody that's trying to watch the game or was unaware of when it was rescheduled, please let them know where to find us here at SHS Spartan 300, what you are tuning in right now. The Spartans will be competing tonight without the guidance of Coach Bruce Larson, and that is who we're going to be talking about um, a lot tonight. This is his memorial game, and it, it was a shame that we couldn't put this prod project together last night but I think Bruce would be darn appreciative that we got it together the day after. So tonight's all about Bruce Larson, who tragically passed away unexpectedly last winter, and the Somerset community has not been the same since. And we will talk about him quite a lot tonight, folks. So thanks for tuning in. Just about to tune in to the kickoff. So uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty darn sure we have no video, but we are live with audio. Um, we have some technical glitches happening uh, tonight. Um, not 100% sure what the issue is, but worst case scenario, one Keaton Anderson does have experience as a radio play-by-play -play guy. All so right. Worst case scenario, I think that's what you're going to get. I will continue working on the video piece of this, but <laughs> we are live as of right now. So. And it's our first live broadcast of the season, folks, so yep. thanks for being patient with us. I mean, we, like I say, we are a team of just – people that put our heart and soul into this thing and it was a ragtag project to start and now we are finally kind of humming along with it been doing the live stream for four years now i believe three or four years yeah this is the fourth year i believe how times have changed my goodness <laughs> yeah we started with uh, audio and video and now we're we got audio <laughs> <laughs> i feel like that's going backwards but i think you're right but we'll get there <laughs> Well, without further ado, Bloomer, the Bloomer Blackhawks are into town. The sweep of the right leg, and we are off and running. Spartan football. I see number 16, Dylan Lush is in there, as well as Andy Rojas. Number 16 is Cayman Gebheim, and I would not want to be tackled by that young fella. Nope, kind of ran right into it there <laughs> on the sideline, and that, he'll be feeling that one tomorrow. For those of you that don't walk there <laughs> on the sideline, and that, He'll be feeling that one tomorrow. For those of you that don't walk by, came and give I'm like us three up here in the live stream. <laughs> He's a, a big, basis. powerful dude. He's a large human for sure. Junior this year, 6-2 officially on the old stat sheet. Two and here at 6:33 and rolling. Looks like Bloomer is going to punt here. Bloomer is going to punt. Let's remind all you fine listeners who's receiving this season, at least as of right now. We got Andy Rojas in the backfield. Spartans do a duel. Oh, very short punt. That one Nobody's is going to. that one. Nope. That one is laying dead. And Bloomer's going to field it Real. right at the 30-yard line. Just kind of went up and died right at the 30. Not really the uh, punt <laughs> outcome that Bloomer was looking for probably, but <laughs> no. Somerset will certainly take it. See if they can get something going offensively here. See if they can get something going. Got a couple yards their last series. And as we wait for this offensive play by Somerset, let's talk about both teams as we did not have a pregame show to talk about them. Uh, Bloomer Blackhawks last season, they are coming from the heart of the North Conference. It is an out-of-conference uh, matchup this evening, and they were 3-6. and six. 
Snap is away. Handoff up the middle. And a pile of football players there. Not much of a gain. I believe maybe a game of one. Looks like Cayman Gibheim is also the recipient of that rush. Somerset football last season also finished with a 3-6 and six record in the Middle Border Conference. Bloomer and Somerset seeing similar successes last season. Second and nine coming up here for the Spartans. Donnelly again, mostly operating out of the shotgun tonight. Donnelly, and it looks like Kamen is kind of their star rusher here. Kamen's going to block for Kane, and maybe that's not going to be any maybe gain Maybe picked there. up a yard right up the gut. That's going to be a third and long. Yep, kind of similar situation as last time. We'll see our first pass from the Spartans here. Jeremy Lesha in the opposite booth, taking over head PA duties, announced it was eight and a half to go. <laughs> we will go with that. We'll trust his judgment. As we cannot have .5 yards on the score sheet. We don't have that many uh, <laughs> decimal places up there, folks. That is correct. 4.57 and rolling. We've got a pass. Kane fades to fire, launches. He's got an open man. He's oh. going to catch it <laughs> to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And that's a Somerset touchdown. What Kane. a pitch and catch by Kane Donnelly and Nick Tollickson right there. Nick wow. Tollickson, the junior, sophomore to junior connection. And Somerset breaks the ice this season, folks. It's a 68-yard pass right there, folks. Wow, and most of that was through the air. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, look at, look at one Corey Lindenberg jogging up the sideline with that field marker. <laughs> English teacher here. I didn't know that Albany's getting pushed back. That's funny. <laughs> I didn't know that he was. Uh... I did not either until I see him jogging up. Somerset with a fantastic pass play in aerial assault with a little bit of pepper from Nick Tollickson. Scampering away, breaking a tackle, and away he went. Somerset going for two here. Producer Wallen, do we still have video? Or are we still going old still school radio? Audio. Snap is away. Kane muscling, not nope. going to get it. Kind of got stood up right away there. <laughs> I believe I think, we might have video. I think we're back with video. I'm going to check on my phone. If somebody could social media message us or text or us. Text. If we got plenty of people watching that <laughs> have our phone numbers. Well, that touchdown is going to be brought to you by Wisconsin Credit Union. They are a proud supporter of Somerset Athletics. Wisconsin seeks to enrich members, communities, and employees with the resources and support to achieve financial wellness. While supporting one another, we're inspiring better. Learn more at wisconsincu.org. Thanks, Wisconsin Credit Union. Another sponsor this evening is Northwood Technical College. Experience quality, innovative education at Northwood Technical College, a nationally ranked top college where learning, learning comes first. Find your passion with 80 associate degree options and technical diplomas and experience success. Visit northwoodtech.edu to learn more. Thanks, Northwood Technical College. And for those just joining, sorry, we apologize for the technical difficulties at the beginning of the game here. I wish you could have seen the craziness of unplugging and plugging in cords that just <laughs> happened over the last 12 minutes. But we are back. We are live, and it's football time after that crazy 65-yard pass. 68. 68-yard yeah. pass by Kane awesome. Donnelly to Nick Tollickson. Great way to start the Spartan season. Yep. Kick it is away. Fielded at about the 15, rushing to the 25 to the, oh, excuse me, 35. Looks like they're going to wave him down. The first of probably many uh, Kane Donnelly touchdowns as quarterback for the Somerset Spartans. I mean, Nick Tollickson is one speedy fella as well, that, so that was that is a, that's a he fun was, matchup. He was way beyond his defender. I wish folks could have seen it at home. That was pretty awesome. Yes. And we can take some time as Bloomer's going to, Try their third possession here offensively. After this snap, let's dive into the Somerset kind of new team as we always do every year. Pitch, tackle, Kane is there, also playing defense, as well as one number 58 for Somerset. Will McGurin right, again, right Will there McGurin. again. 
So some new faces. We lost a lot of big players and big names last season due to uh, graduating. We are happy to see them go because that means they graduated high school, which is great. But mission accomplished. We, we do not have them. Oh, long pass. Good defense yeah. by Kane Donnelly. Got his He's hands up, up there. Putting a hand up there. Very he took care of business. Getting it done on both sides of the ball there. Yep. Well done. Very good defense there. So some new positions and fellas. Feel free to chime in with uh, some reminders. What are the new positions we're looking at? We got a new quarterback. We got Kane Donnelly in for Rory Hoff last year. We got new rushing. Well, Rojas and Tollickson will get definitely more touches than they did last year for sure. As will Kamen Gebheim. Kamen Gebheim was kind of a jack of all trades last year. Dylan Lesh is also a Another fantastic pass. receiving option. Oh, faking out in the flat. Nice catch there. Nice snag. And <laughs> brought down the Blackhawk. That was a nice little snag there by, what is that young fella's number? 84. 84. Vincent Grambart, a freshman. Freshman. I believe Jack Creer was able to get him down, but after being dragged for a couple of yards. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Rush up the middle for Bloomer. That's going to be very short gain. Looks like no gain officially. And that was fourth down. I think they tried to kind of catch the Spartans off. Oh, they, oh. excuse me, they got a first down. So instead of no gain, they did gain enough for the first. Yep, just Vince, barely. Vincent Grambart's on the Spartans. That was Kareem Ba, oh, the sorry, that's senior right. tight end, 6'1", Looking at the wrong sheet. Yeah, that's the kind of the opposite version of, it's the Blackhawk version of Kame and Gebheim out there, it looks yeah, like. Right fella. Big guy. In the strong formation, fakes Ooh. one way, up the other way. Number eight, Blackhawk on the rush. Zeke Strand. Zeke I got Strand. that one right for sure. <laughs> a sophomore. <laughs> and audience, if you are, you're finally seeing us now with some film. It is a beautiful day here yeah, at Robert A. Seibel night. Field. And we always say that, and we've been saying that for years, obviously. Robert A. Seibel, Robert Seibel as they normally call him, the human. He was there last night um, with us in the storm. We, if, if you were not there to commemorate Bruce, we did not totally abandoned ship for the entire planning of everything we did honor the state championship teams last year the um, awesome alumni that came out to support bruce in his memory we did that last night in the high school gymnasium um and i think that's streamed the on out. the on the on the shs 300 on, on the account. huddle camera yep. yep oh on the huddle camera so pe can people still check that out they can yep. Yep. yep nice tackle there Camera's kind of all over the place, but that's a common theme to start the season here for us. <laughs> the, the huddle camera is kind of, it doesn't know who to focus on in that's events like that. Andy Rojas with a nice uh, sideline tackle there running across the field. Bring up fourth and about five, it looks like. Going to be fourth And down. it's going to be a punt. Back to receive. And Andy now, Rojas and Kane Donnelly. And now people can see the scoreboard because I finally got that figured out. <laughs> hey, all right, I think, I think we we're go. almost back live here. 6-0 <laughs> as we're uh, ticking down in the first quarter. 137 left to go. Punt is away. Much better punt this time. Fair caught by Kane in the sun. That's got to be a yeah, really hard catch. catch. He did play one game of outfield during the baseball season, so uh, that definitely helped him out right there. That, that <laughs> very good work experience there. <laughs> Somerset looking to add on here in this first quarter. I don't remember the last time we had a home game where Somerset scored two touchdowns in one quarter. Could be a good time. That's true. Yes, that, I don't remember that either. Somerset in recent years has been very, very rush heavy, but now we might see a changing of the guard here as our first score of the season, and obviously in this game is from a very long pass play, 68 yards. A dynamic play. Donnelly. Donnelly shotgun again. Under center, Gebheim to him, early motion. He's up the middle, he's Ooh. juking, jagging, and he picks up some yards there, folks. It's a... Uh, it's very interesting to watch one Shannon Donnelly, new <laughs> superintendent for uh, Somerset School District, whose son, obviously, is Kane Donnelly, the quarterback. Um, she is all bundles of nerves and excitement on the sideline down there. I feel like it's even more so than when he was playing basketball. Absolutely. Every, every play has a <laughs> fist bump to it. Or a yep. <laughs> That was a nice rush there by Kane. First down. First down on the offensive prowl. Swords up for Somerset. 
Another give Ooh. and go. Ooh. And Donnelly. Clobbered gets, in the backfield. <laughs> he gets clobbered all right. That's going to be for a loss of just maybe two yards there. Coach Corey Lindenberg changing the number on the old downs marker to two. It's going to be second and long, folks. Second and about 12. As we got 33 be the seconds. the last play of the first quarter here. Let's see if they can draw something up. The Somerset special here to end the quarter. Donnelly under center. Sends Andy Rojas in motion towards him. Fakes it to him. He's oh, going to be open. up to the right or left side of his Gosh. his left, and he's going to find some room. That was a great job there. Great push up front by the offensive line. That entire side of the field was wide open for Kane except for one defender and made a play and got a good, uh, good decent gain there. Manageable third down. And that is going to close out the first quarter. Somerset on top here, 6-0 to zero over the Bloomer Blackhawks. Got to like what you're seeing so far offensively, at least on the last couple of drives. Uh, we saw a nice pass by Donnelly and then a couple of nice rushes by Donnelly as well. Curious if we'll see. Uh, we have not seen Andy Rojas touch the ball yet, I don't think, at least for a significant gain. And we've seen Cayman Gebheim a little bit, but we haven't hasn't seen broke free yet. Well, Dylan Lesha, I, I'm also just kind of anxious to see when he's going to get in the mix. Last year he tried to be incorporated in certain things later in the season and we certainly have guys with speed just need space and that's where that push up front is going to be really important for Somerset very rarely are we going to be bigger than other teams but uh yep. good technique oftentimes is better than better size absolutely well while we are waiting for uh play to resume here we got a new 12 on the scoreboard looking for the second quarter. Guys, we got to remember that tonight is all about dedicating one Bruce Larson. Let's hear some stories from us in, up here in the, in the booth. What's one of your more memorable Bruce Larson memories? I'll go first. Yeah. Wallen has more than I do. I mean, <laughs> the, I still remember my first day as a teacher here, and uh, we were both assigned to be in the gym for basically just kind of open time for kids to hang out in the gym. It was early while we were kind of figuring out the schedule, and uh, he was very personable, very welcoming, uh, made me feel like I belonged in this place that I very much didn't feel like I belonged in yet. <laughs> uh, he even knew something about my high school football team. I played for Wasa East one wow. year and knew some things about Wasa East football, which is pretty cool. So <laughs> I have a couple of Bruce stories, but that's the one that sticks out the most, just how welcoming and how kind he was without even knowing anything about me. Yes, that personifies Bruce in a nutshell. Welcoming. Kane Donnelly receives Oof. direct snap, tries to lurch forward, and third to no and, avail. Third and three, not going to make yeah, it. We're going to be punting down. here. Yep, fourth down. It's going to be fourth and about six, and the special teams coming out on the field here. So we've seen a punt by Dylan Lesha. Looking for another one here. Dylan Lesha <laughs> following some big shoes, <laughs> literally and figuratively, in one Jack the Boot Casey, all-state punter for the Spartans last year. He provided quite a few highlights last he year. He absolutely <laughs> did. Yeah, he had some bomb, bomba juice. Ooh, low snap. There. Bomba yeah, juice. That's Whoa, a nice there's one. There's a nice oh. Got him on the heels. Blackhawks field it. Running up the field. Whoa. Oh. And gets lit up, folks. That's number 18, Sawyer Fox. Wow. <laughs> Sawyer with no regard for human life. That was nice. Nice open field <laughs> tackle. What a punt by Lesha. That was a boot I'm trying to do math in my head right now it's a it's up there as a jack the boot casey territory right 40 there. plus yard punt yeah. decent hang time too decent hang time pretty good for a guy who i'm assuming doesn't practice punting on a daily basis <laughs> <laughs> as he is playing defense right now yep. <laughs> uh, probably is practicing defense a little more often. maybe a couple of punts at the end of each practice <laughs> <laughs> players out there for somerset dylan lesha kane donnelly andy rojas Two-way players, both of them. In the strong formation, fading right. That's a sack right there for Somerset. Sacked in the backfield, nowhere to go. Looks like Kamen Gebheim. He had quite a few sacks last year. So. And quarterbacking Tyler for Hutter. The, yes, Tyler Hutter was there. Gabe Prince is the quarterback for the Blackhawks. And he just ran out of room that time, folks. It looked, it's, it's hard to tell what that play was designed for. It looked like initially a designated pass and then looked like he w was looking to run. I mean, right now, Bloomer has no wide receivers lined up. They fade back, launches it. He's got an open man. Uh, oh, through him. 
Couldn't Somerset, quite connect. Somerset got lucky on that one as he yes. was beyond the defense there. Andy Rojas' speed kind of helped him out a little bit to get back. I believe that was Andy. Yes, that was Andy Rojas. Easily a recognizable one, Andy Rojas. Well, he's number 22, and he's got the white sleeve on. We got a timeout. Going to be timeout Bloomer. Bloomer facing a third and long, third and 14 officially. It's the second quarter, 10-34 left in this half. Somerset up by a score, 6-2-0 here at Robert Seibel Field. Shout out Caleb Melvin, who sent a message via Sophia Emmert to, quote, fix the camera. Uh, I think we did, so. What thanks, was wrong Rod. with it? <laughs> it just wasn't working for the first Yeah, that's, minutes, that is but. true. It, uh, we kind of just had audio for a while there. <laughs> <laughs> also working with a camera that we don't usually use as the kind of midfield yeah. camera. So I think it's been doing okay so far. I know initially the footage was a bit grainy, but I think I made a quick adjustment yeah. in the settings yeah. to make it look a little bit better. Yeah, I think we're it's our first broadcast of the season. We're doing we're doing phenomenal, you guys. <laughs> well, just just stating facts here. Uh, we do not have Wi-Fi or Ethernet up <laughs> in the press box of the football that field. That is a helpful fact. <laughs> For those of you that live in the town of Somerset and will be uh, voting on a referendum this coming fall. That is a piece that would be uh, included. Something to think about there, folks. Something to think about. Coming out of the timeout, head coach for the Blackhawks, John Post. Hopefully had some inspiring words for his Blackhawks who are down in Ooh, this contest. Third and long here. Three, third and 14. Gonna See what to, Bloomer tries. Going to have to draw something a little special, a little pixie dust, a little magic here gonna for the Blackhawks. Going to the camera angle wide here because I'm guessing we're going for a pass. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of wide outs lined up, four to be exact. Snap is away. Prince turning out. Oh, oh Will McGurin. <laughs> nice play. Just buried him. <laughs> the stock and attack for McGurin. And that's a large loss there for the Blackhawks. They're going to be punting. Looking like Dean Lowry taking down Kirk Cousins right there. Gosh, <laughs> I was waiting for that for first uh, Packer Viking reference, but oh, what a fantastic man. defensive effort this contest so far for Somerset. We've been doing very, very well. Putting on a defensive so show so far. Almost, I think they might have negative yards. I believe so. I mean, it's it's got to be close because on this one, it's. They didn't change the scoreboard, but it's about fourth and 20. Oh, Jordan Walters almost got in there for the block. Punt is away. Rojas fields it cleanly. He's got some room to look and toughs it out. Getting tries. 10. Yep. Toughs it out. He's going to be down at in the Bloomer territory. It's going to be on the 46-yard line, looks like. Yep, Kareem Ba with the uh, tackle there. Coaches for Somerset. We talked about Joe Hutter already. Also, John Rivard, Troy Wink, Brandon Barry, Ben Kikoffer, David Rivard, Kyle Larson, who's got the headset on now. Russ Fox, Tyler Luke. Also, one Josh Wells down there, science teacher at Somerset. Yeah, what is he doing down there? He he does stats He's, for uh, the team, holding okay. an iPad. He's stats guy. He's playing on an iPad? No headset <laughs> required. Oops. He's just playing Angry Birds. I'm guessing Shelby is probably watching at home. So No, she is here tonight. Oh, okay. All the Wellses are in attendance. Including their dog? <laughs> all two of them. <laughs> no. Well, that's not all the Wellses then, Keith. <laughs> Serious Bark could not make it. And if you... <laughs> Let's give them a shout out. Serious Bark has a fantastic Instagram follow <laughs> if you would like to. It's the dog, a corgi, of one Josh Wells, science teacher, and his wife, Shelby Wells. <laughs> Great follow. So, uh, guys, you might know this because I actually do not. Who is the defensive coordinator on our Somerset football team? Um, I do not know that answer. I would assume that... Uh, Joe still has a lot of hands in that. Yeah. If it, if not, it is Joe. Okay. I believe in. I don't want to. I don't want to say without turn, but I think Joe is calling the defensive plays. Yeah, I yeah. I would think so because Ben Keekoffer is calling is, the offense. Yep, running the offense. And as I learned yesterday, Brandon Berry works with the wide receivers and the defensive backs. Yep. And uh, try and figure out what the heck everyone else does as we go through the season here. <laughs> And we got a cheer here, hometown cheer squad. Our high school cheer team 
as well as we shouldn't just call them the high school cheer team, even though they are fantastic, but that cheer squad, led by one Tasia Berger, is all over the place in this school district. They are at the elementary school, middle school, and high school. They even have very, very young kiddo camps for inspiring the next future in the cheer squad. Uh, we do have a confirmation from our live stream partner, Jess Wink, that uh, <laughs> Joe does indeed um, is the defensive coordinator as well. Thank you, Jess. Thank Jess, you, Jess, hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. We miss you. Somerset back on the offensive attack here. Rojas in motion, snap ahead of him. Donley fakes, goes up the middle. And a very, very short gain on that one. Just nowhere to go really for Donnelly on that one. Not much space there, Bloomer. Trying to do some something. misdirection, but maybe caught someone off, but kind of ran right into a guy up the middle. Third and eight officially. Let's see if we'll, maybe we'll see another pass play here. Well, we just had a, we had a 60 yard pass play earlier. So, I mean, anything is within striking distance here. This whole season, folks, we are within scoring no matter where we are. In the gun, Kane fades, fires, surveys, ah. and to his fellow teammate Rojas, who couldn't quite get his mitts on it. Rojas looking for a flag there, but uh, not going to get it. Say if this, well, and if this was the NFL, that would have been roughing the passer because that was a driving the opponent yeah. into the ground play. Kane uh, <laughs> waited until he could to get that one off. Right. Yep. Very patient, yes. That's a good, uh, good little tip of the hat there for the hard, sophomore. A hard thing to do. I mean, obviously, once the second you sense any pressure, you want to get rid of the ball. Mm -hmm. But looking pressure in the face and trying to complete a pass, even more impressive. It looks like Somerset's going for it on fourth, fourth down eight. here. Fourth and eight. Somerset in the gun. Got three wideouts to their name. Fox in motion. Got time. Lesha. He's got Lesha! an open man. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Lesha with the touchdown. <laughs> What a play. Woo! Oh, my goodness. The aerial assault is working for Somerset. On fourth and eight. Gutsy Have no play fear. there. Have no fear. Keen Donnelly is here. Score is now 12 for Somerset. Bloomer has yet to score in this contest. Excellent effort on that fourth down play. From all angles. As we got one Blake Freeze running the Somerset Spartan flag here. You can see him on camera. Spartan's going for two. Spartans. As is tradition. <laughs> As per tradition. <laughs> Outside of the outlier year that is Jimmy Siggins. Yep. <laughs> Rojas in the Wildcat. Ooh. He's going to get it. Rojas looking up the middle, punches it in. And that's a two-point conversion. That's a fun little gadget play there that I'll probably see a bit more often here. 14 nothing Somerset with the early lead. Wow. Equalizing, divisible by seven numbers. We're making it up to yeah. 14. I'll say two of probably the more dynamic plays that we've seen at home over the last, maybe even in live stream history, honestly. Just two perfect throws. <laughs> Just he'd pitch it right up there, almost like it would land in a bucket right where he wanted yep. it to. Do give props to uh, Dylan Lesha on that one. He got clear of his defender. Oh, my gosh. He was at least <laughs> 10 yards yep. past him. Yeah, those of you that are watching, you're going to have to put this one in the old replay machines and see what in the world Dylan Lesha did to get so free. I was not I, I watching that closely. I hope I got closely. it on camera. <laughs> see if he put on a move or just streak route or a go route, as they call it. For those uh, Packer fans at home, a quick update on the Packer preseason game. Packers winning 3 nothing at just about the end of the first quarter, playing against the New Orleans Saints in their second preseason game. Ah, the Saints, that game last year went so well. <laughs> Week one, <laughs> it's a dark day. <laughs> a dark day for us all. Well, you know who the Packers have to worry about week one this year. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not worrying too much. All right, as a Viking fan, I'm not worried either. So <laughs> <we're all good. laughs> Got to have someone to throw it to to win a game. So <laughs> No. I Tyler, mean, uh, we got bodies. Tyler Hutter on kickoff yep, here. I believe Tyler is the kicker. Sweep of the right leg, line drive, right to a Blackhawk. He's going to field it. A Blackhawk that Ooh. probably usually doesn't get the ball there. There, there is a <laughs> strategy with that. Kick it to the big guy, kick it to the high number. guy that starts with a seven yep. usually. <laughs> <laughs> 
A scrum any, any, unfolds. Any and 70 down. number, uh, I think you're safe kicking it to them. <laughs> <laughs> After the scrum, it looks like the Blackhawks are going to start their offensive possession. Let's see here. They're going to put them at the 40 yard line yep. in their own territory. So Blackhawks, I don't believe, have positive offensive yards in this game yet. Somerset has ha got a lot of push up front. Cayman Gebheim has wreaked havoc. You got Will McGurin, who's been a problem up there. A lot of great plays by the defense so far. Yeah. Oh, oh. there's a movement by Dylan Livingston. Yep. D-Liv, as they call him. Number 69 jumped a bit early there. And Jordan Walters is coming right back in to probably replace Dylan. <laughs> Yes. Yep. <laughs> Jordan got a breather because uh, Jordan Pry is going to play just about every play in this game. So, got a little break. Dylan <laughs> provided him that break. <laughs> it's first and five. Jordan Walters subbing in, who miraculously, I believe, still grew over the summer, which <laughs> is would, insane. He said I would he agree he, with that. He told me yesterday that he thinks he's a 6'8 now. So That's insane. Woo. A big boy for sure. Best game by the Blackhawks so far tonight right there. I could be wrong, but that... I think that is their second first down. Yeah, I think you're correct. They did get one in the first quarter. However, lots of, like you say, Rossi, negative yards is going to add to them not having many positives. It seems so like far. really any time they're trying to pass, they've been uh, they've had a rough time of getting the ball off. Yeah, and obviously they're going to analyze such things after the game and during the game for halftime. But I'm just not quite sure if they have just no open receivers downfield or what the deal is. That's a nice oh, run, run there, number eight. Number eight for the Blackhawks, down with some very good positive yards there. It's going to be a short second down for them. Zeke Strand with a nice run, a sophomore, number eight. Short second down here. Will McGurn coming out of the game, taking a quick water break. Prince under center, takes it, hands it off again. And that like is going to be a first down. They're starting to find some holes in the Somerset defense here. Zeke Strand with another first down here. Hutter out on the field coaching his team to the promised land here as they are currently up 14 rip here at Seibel Field. 7-10 to go in this contest. Looks like we got a timeout here. Oh, looks like it's going to be a quick quick sub. Yep. Nick Tollickson, something looked like it was wrong with his helmet. So Sawyer Fox is coming into the game. Yeah, something is wrong with his helmet. John Rivard's on the sideline with Nick Tollickson, trying to figure out what the heck's going on with his helmet. <laughs> Fakes oh. it. Oh, and Cayman Gebheim. Oh, way to set the edge, <laughs> Cayman. Wow. There is no escaping that Kamen was some Gebheim. good football play right there. <laughs> Cayman could have bit in on that with the fake, but he set the edge and he was able to catch up with him with his speed. I mean, he he's a very athletic person, but when you combine that with just kind of the wherewithal, the IQ, I mean, you got a recipe for a very fantastic player. Well, I think a lot of it just comes from experience. Cayman played a lot last year. He played pretty much every down on defense, I think, and well, it's funny had a really good season as a sophomore. So I mean, now he just tackled him near side the field towards us, and now he's on the opposite side. Yep. They're really trying well, to confuse the I think they play the strong board. side and weak side, so. Hand off again to Zeke, and he's going to get tackled yep. for a short game. Oops, sorry. Chase Webster on the tackle. Six minutes and rolling left in this half. Looks like third it's going to nine. be Here yep, we go. third and long. We'll see if they do the rushing attempt or if they want to throw some a pass here. We'll see you. No one out wide again, but quarterback dropping back. Yep, going Came out wide. trying to get him again. He's going to take it. Prince. Ooh. Ooh, Prince gets walloped by McGurin. Gets thrown. Number 58 all over yeah, this field. Will McGurin tonight. has just been everywhere. Absolutely. The senior effort going to hold the Blackhawks to a fourth That's and a short. Manageable fourth down here. Yes, so. it is. Let's see what kind of play call we have here. I'm guessing run up the middle with uh, number eight. I think that would be a solid strategy. That seems to be the theme of this offensive it's been possession. A good, good drive so far. Bloomer with it. Strong side, opposite field. Ooh, number eight gets it. That, he's going to get uh, stopped. Oh, he's still on his feet. And now he gets stopped. That's going to be a turnover on downs. What, the pitch seemed to kind of spell the end of that drive for Bloomer as the pitch kind of was bobbled by the Blackhawk. Yep. Number eight, Zeke Strand. Yep, Strand. And that did him in. 
Going to be turnover on downs here. Nice stop by Somerset. See if they can get another touchdown here. Get some more points on the board before the end of the first half. Just over five minutes to go. Student section in full <laughs> force here. Let's get them on just camera. Just about to stay. Student section, as we stated before. I don't think we had a, a video, but it is a Packer out in honor of Yep, we got him at the beginning Larson. of the game. Oh, we did. Yes, sir. In honor of Coach, favorite NFL team, obviously big football guy. Packer out. Yeah, and I don't think Bloomer brought much of a student section with them today. Well, what does the Spartan offense have left here? Or next? Kane, handoff. Sawyer Fox. Sawyer gets a short gain there. Looks like he's going to gain about three yards, three or four yards. It's going to be second down. Second down, and this is a tough second down for Bloomer as Somerset wants to kind of echo what they've been doing from the air, and you never know what a team's going to do second and about five or six. What about second and seven? Second and seven? Oh, you know exactly what they're doing then. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Super predictable. Totally Down dictates the what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Walters holding the line as the right tackle. Hands it up off the middle. Sawyer with it. He finds some room off and running, and that's a first down Somerset. Well, you said his name there right before there, but Jordan Walters cleared the lane there. <laughs> I think he took two bodies with him. <laughs> I think I've said this on previous live streams, if not on, on basketball as well, but there's not a lot of, not a lot of guys that I uh, – Look up to, and I'm like, wow, you are, you are, <laughs> you are tall. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, you are tall. Somerset, trying it again. Dylan Lesha out to Donnelly's right. Motion, Andy Rojas. He's going to take it. Left going right, Oof. and gets stopped in the backfield. That's going to be a loss of four for Somerset. Jet sweep, lost of four. Just couldn't quite hold the line that time. A good Toto reference for you uh, music fans out there. Love isn't always on time. <laughs> Love isn't always on time. But you got to hold the line. Gabe Allen subs back in. He had one playoff. Coming back in. Nick Tollickson, who had the business end of one touchdown reception, 68 yards out to Don Lee's left. Gets it. Handoff Oof. just smothered immediately. Well, hey, just do like those two other passing plays and we'll be fine here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Sawyer Fox received it and just gets smothered. It's going to be third, third and a lot. <laughs> well, just third and many. Third and 20 probably. Let's just get to fourth down and let her fly. Yeah, you know. I think it is fourth and 20 or fourth and nine or a third and third 20. Third and 20. And okay. Bloomer going to kind of make some space there going back on their heels just a tad, probably anticipating a pass play. Gosh, still not. Far back enough. I mean, maybe about 10 yards off the ball. You got to know if that. I, if some I'm, type if of I'm pass Bloomer, I'm going to the <laughs> down and distance marker and not letting you get past me. <laughs> I know I'm no football mind, but. <laughs> Gebheim next to Kane. He's going to fake it. Oh, Kane's got it. Misdirection. Up the sideline. Oh, breaks some tackles. Oh, he got it. Gets a first down. Kane Donnelly with an emphatic rush. A scamper for a first down. What a juke move there by Kane Donnelly. Ooh. My goodness. I think I still see the defender's shoes back there. He can run and he can pass. Just, just like I said, you know what's coming, meaning I thought they were going to pass, but you know the option play for 22 <laughs> plus. Just how, just how they drew it up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> coming out party for Kane Donnelly, the Somerset sensation so far. He's got two passing touchdowns and then that. Very impressive. That was a highlight run right there. That, that was, was. And we might have something special here catching the snaps for Somerset. He's going to get another try. Gets it to Gebheim. Gebheim powering, still on his feet. Oh, my goodness. You're going to have to zoom in with the instant replay machines. He barrels forward on that one. Well, he barreled forward because I got my old binoculars out, <laughs> for those of you that don't listen on routine to the football live stream. Uh, anyway, came in a pushed down on a bloomer black hawk to try to stay up and standing there you go and uh it was darn impressive to see that second effort oh one late substitution for bloomer here getting down on the line they're gonna run at him came in again he's gonna find some room 
He's got some room. He's, He's got done. the end. <laughs> the edge. Gebheim in for six. Wow. Gebheim with a burst of speed around the edge. Great blocking by the Somerset offense. About and they find themselves up 20 to zero. What a 35 yard run there. Wow. It is impressive to see a large human like that run that eloquently. With 101 left in this half. I mean, the, the roster says he's 6'2", 205. I think he is I think he's pushing to 220. You're right. Somerset going for two as per tradition. We'll see if they pull out the old Wildcat as they did attempt on their last two-point possession. It does not appear so. Donnelly is there, number 13. Next to him, 16, is Kamen, who just scored this last touchdown. Do we see a fade to Lesha on this? Rojas. That'd be fun. In motion, throws over the middle, tried to get Gabe Allen and yep. to no avail. It's a pretty hard-thrown fade. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I like it. I don't think I've seen a, a pass play on a two-point conversion in a very long time for the Spartans, so... <laughs> Here's the lots Spartan of, flag coming out. Just lots of creative uh, stuff we've seen so far in this one. And you got to like what Somerset is doing, um, kind of going away from traditional sort of things where we're airing it out a little more, and well, it think, is working. And honestly, like the down to distance has kind of dictated that. I, I, I still think this team is going to be wanting to run the ball more often than not, but it's good to know that you have a pretty good passing attack in your back pocket. For sure. Student section on their feet as they have been all game. If you're just joining us again, we do apologize for any video issues that are happening. Um, any more fixing I could try and do would shut down the stream. So We'll keep working, yep. folks. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. We'll keep working. You got you to gotta think that wherever Bruce is watching this game from, he's got to be liking what he's seeing. Yep, lots of positives so far in this first game for the Spartans. Offensively, defensively, special teams. Awesome We're punt doing it there by Lesha. <laughs> awesome in the punting game. As a as a <laughs> former soccer coach, I do uh, I do appreciate a good kicking game in the football uh, world. And one Joe Hutter, son of head coach. Or, excuse me, Tyler Hutter. Joe Hutter is not Joe taking Hutter. the kickoff. Joe Hutter is <laughs> not, he, he's not allowed to kick. He is coaching. His son, the senior. I bet Joe could kick the ball pretty darn far, <laughs> oh, I though. I bet he could, too. Toe ball deep into Bloomer territory. He's going to get fielded around the 15-yard line. A good scamper there, and they're going to be about the 40. Defense coming onto the field for Somerset after another fantastic possession just kind of highlighted by some deep territory um, effort as Ross Miller described backed in back against a wall Somerset is doing good things which is always a nice trait to have if you're a football team score is 20 to 0 we got 55 seconds left in this half so we will see how creative Bloomer wants to be here Bloomer snap Pitch, a little sweep, and that's going to be no gain or gain of about one. Clock is going to be rolling. Looks Might like have one or two more plays here in this half. Yep, one or two more plays, and that's going to be it here, but we'll see where those plays lead. And during the half, we can kind of play around with a couple of things video-wise, but just now seeing that we got a nice flashing video <laughs> on the live stream. <laughs> Snap is up and rolling up the middle. Still on his feet, and I believe that will most likely end the half here, folks. We got 16 seconds. Oh, excuse me. Timeout Bloomer. Interesting move. Timeout Bloomer. Even though the clock's still running. And the clock is still running. That will get reversed. I believe there's going to be about 16 <laughs> seconds left. See what they do here. Maybe one last chuck down the field. Jeremy Lesha assisting the scoreboard operator up there. Father of one Dylan Lesha, who is on defense in the cornerback position as well as offensively in the wide receiver position. I was correct. 16 seconds left on the clock. 
It's going to be third and nine for Bloomer. Somerset cheer squad leading some cheers here in the downtime as we are waiting for this timeout to be over. Head coach John Post of the Bloomer Blackhawks trying to inspire his team, get them to do a little bit of magic here with 20 more seconds as they did bump it up from 16 to 20 now on the clock. Depending on these last two plays, you got to feel good if you're affiliated with Somerset. Three scores and a half is not too shabby. Looking to shut out the Blackhawks in this first half. Somerset and Bloomer taking the field here. This may be interesting, folks. 20 seconds left after a fresh timeout. A lot of wideouts for Bloomer, one of them in motion. Takes it, goes, sweeps right. Launches, finds the sideline, good, tiptoe, wow. catch. Nice that play. was impressive. Still 16, yeah, they did. I don't think they ran the clock at all on that play. Looks like there's oh, incomplete. 16. Oh. oh, wow, it was incomplete, all right. Okay. He definitely tried to drag the toe there. Very tall wide receiver, number three, Evan. He is a senior. So it is fourth down with 16 seconds left. Bloomer receives it, fades. Going up the field, going up strong. He's got a little bit of room. Taken down by Andy Rojas. And that is going to stop the clock, I believe, for a turnover. Oh, they got oh, a first down me. on that one. Oh, so. they got a first down. Yep, and they just took their final timeout. Timeout. So nine seconds left before the end of this half. We want to take some moments to tip of the hat to our sponsors here this evening. Northwood Technical College has the programs and state-of-the-art facilities you need to start or advance your career in modern manufacturing. Integrate advanced manufacturing competencies in high demand and high pay occupations. Blaze into machine tool, automation for industrial systems, automated packaging systems, or welding with in-person and hands-on instruction. Campus tours and program shadows available. Visit northwoodtech.edu for more information. Experience success at Northwood Technical College. If you're listening locally, right over in New Richmond, there is a Northwood Technical College. Houses many Somerset grads that leave our fine institution, getting into various fields such as welding, manufacturing, and many others. Nine seconds left here. Bloomer just getting off of a first down rush by their quarterback, number six, Gabe Price, or Prince, excuse me, who is a junior. Score is 20 to zero. Somerset trying to exit this half, shutting down Bloomer with a scoreless donut up there on the scoreboard. We'll see if they are successful here. Got enough time for probably one more play, unless it is a quick one. Oh, we got good video quality here for the end of the first half. It's not, I don't think it's any cable problems. It's just something with our internet connection out here at the at the booth. Bloomer takes it, fades, scampers under duress, takes it, chucks it, and that's going to be incomplete. Still got three seconds. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> one more play. Three seconds. <laughs> and wow, Gabe Allen just harassing Prince down there. He still just almost under had a completion duress. there. If he wouldn't have been hit right at the end, maybe would have uh, they would have gotten it to his receiver. Yeah, under duress has been somewhat of a theme for uh, Prince. Taking it under center for the Blackhawks this evening. Now under the gun, a new quarterback. Takes it, fades, surveys. He's going to throw long. He's going to throw it long. Does he have somebody? Picked Intercepted. Off. Dylan Lesha with the interception. And that's going to end the half, folks. <laughs> Who's number 22 for... Yeah, number 22, a new quarterback. Keegan 
Yonk? Yonk. We apologize if that, that was, is... I mean, he was able to throw it pretty far. That was a good throw, yeah. Normally a running back and linebacker. But uh, Somerset with the interception to finish off the first half. There you have it, folks. <laughs> good <laughs> and, start. And there you have it. That's going to end the half here from Somerset at Robert A. Seibel Field. Join us in about 15 minutes. We're going to take one nod for Wisconsin Credit Union before we head out. From childhood through retirement, Wisconsin Credit Union's smart financial literacy program is packaged according to life stages with a variety of helpful resources. Visit wisconsincu.org for more information. Wisconsin Credit Union is proud to support Somerset Athletics. We'll see you in 15, folks.
Welcome back, everybody. If you are just tuning in, we are about to start the second half here at Seibel Field here in Somerset, Wisconsin. Score is 20, Somerset, zero, Bloomer. And if you are a Somerset fan, you got to be happy with some of the things you are seeing out here tonight, offensively and defensively, really. We have some aerial assault action happening as well as some fun rushing attempts. We have one rushing touchdown, two touchdowns through the air, all to different people. As a matter of fact, Nick Tollickson, uh, Nick Tollickson had the first rushing touchdown. It was about 68 yards, so a very, very deep. <laughs> Sorry, producers are waving. <laughs> Air drumming is happening up here. Well, Nick welcome to the jungle comes out, and you just kind of have to go for it. Yeah, you just got to go for it. Nick Tollickson with the first touchdown, very, very deep, uh, just kind of fourth and long touchdown throw, which was emphatic, and it was brilliant. Then we had a Dylan Lesha uh, down the sideline kind of th uh Touchdown throw once again from Kane Donnelly, and well, that was say, another for the, deep for one. the two touchdown passes. Kane Donnelly couldn't have made it more easier easier for his receivers. Yes, just placed it right at their hands. Brilliant, fantastic passes, lofty throws, and then the last touchdown we had towards I think we had a minute left in the half. I think it was one oh one left, and Kane came and Gebheim scampered for a good twenty yard touchdown. Long touchdown efforts were the story of the first half. Oh, and that's oh, a very boy. short kick and that's fielded oh, oh i think we fumbled that one and we'll see what the officials say it is bloomer ball i believe that went right to broden field and he uh wasn't quite able to come down with it not how you want to start the second half boy from zero to hero there cool we thought that was just a scrubbed kick and then it turns out bloomer's going to take over here at the start of the second half bloomer a story of the first half for bloomer was a lot of just uh Deep back looking uh, throw attempts and then under duress constantly. So we'll see if Bloomer had some modifications at half to get their quarterback humming. They here. had two guys in misdirection. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Nick Tollickson just blew up. Oh my goodness. So he had two guys in motion there and that is not allowed. So illegal motion. On Bloomer, and Nick Tollickson just <laughs> lit up whoever <laughs> caught that ball. I didn't even get time to see his number. <laughs> Six seconds. Ran off in that first possession here. Penalty early. Clock is running. Bloomer trying to start this one over. After winning the scrubbed kickoff. Up the middle. A little spinorama there. And some good yardage there from Bloomer. Able to get the yards back and more there are good, the Blackhawks. Good little scamper, Jackson Omar. A little spin around up the middle, really freed up some room for him. He's going to find some positive yardage there. Getting the snaps, receiving them under center for the Blackhawks is Gabe Prince. He's going to hand it off and stopped at the line. That is number 16, Kamen Gebheim with the stop. Jordan Omar with the carry again. Jordan Walters helping Kamen put back in his shoulder pad. Common uh, problem for all football players everywhere. Bloomer coming out in very similar formations each time here. Very strong under center formation. Two fullbacks wide, one halfback deep. Fades, bloops it over the middle, reception. And hauls a couple Spartans. Kane Donnelly there on the tackle. That's going to be a first down. Nice little blooper pass over the middle. Ethan Rubenzer, senior tight end with a nice catch and run. Rumbling down the field. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Took a couple of Spartan defenders to take him down. Yes, it did. Very good, uh, very good offensive possession here for Bloomer, aside from that very first play. Finding some magic happening in the short game. Motion. Oh, Misdirection. Double. Good open field tackle. Great open field tackle. I did not catch the number. I believe that's Nick Tollickson again. I thought it was number 30. It was a number with a zero attached to it. Either way, that's a perfect example of a defender doing their job. One-on-one -on -one tackle. Made the stop. Could have been a big play, but great defensive stop. It's going to be second and 12 here for Bloomer with a loss on that misdirection sweep to the quarterback's left. Prince 
He's going to receive it with some movement. Ooh, Ooh under duress, he's going to take off with it. A jersey grab by Dylan Lesha, and a lot of Spartans are there to take down Prince. Dylan Lesha, one of the first there. Andy Rojas at the bottom of the pile. And at least three or four yards after contact on that one. Nice run by the quarterback. Just keep on moving his feet. It's a good job serving by Prince and just keeping uh, the drive alive, the possession alive, the play alive. Bloomer finding some magic here. Different formation, very strong. Two fullbacks, both of them blocking. Jukes up the middle. Oh, stripped. Andy Rojas strips it. He's got it. We'll see if Jeez. they, oh my gosh, then he almost tosses it back into play. We'll see what they call here, folks. It Should is Somerset, Somerset football. Yep. Andy Rojas with the strip wow. and recovery. Big turnover there as it looked like Bloomer was on the doorstep of scoring and Rojas with a nice play. Andy Rojas, Rojas. That's exactly right. At Just have the wherewithal to go for that right there. At 9.01, Somerset getting a fumble. Stripped by Andy Rojas, number 22, senior on this team. Andy Rojas plays a lot of defense and offense. He's influential on both ends. Somerset's going to take this first snap of the second half. It appears to be about the three-yard line here. Make sure we keep it out of the end zone. Hands it off. Kamen Gebheim up the middle. And it's going to be like no gain. Spartans looking to take it out of the end zone here. They're under duress. And the Somerset sensation himself, Kane Donnelly, is going to take this one in the gun. Hands it to Gebheim. Gebheim spinning and falling. Appears to be positively. Donnelly waiting for the play. Receiving the play from... A fellow Spartan, Nick Tollickson coming out here. Somerset with a long third down. Third and eight, 745 and rolling in this third quarter. Takes it, fumble, fumble. Ball is on the ground. And Bloomer's very excited. We'll see what the officials call. It is Bloomer, ball knocking on the doorsteps of the Spartans. Bloomer recovers a fumble at about the two yard line. They Donnelly just kind of bobbled the snap a bit there and bobbled put it and on the tried ground. to tried to hand it off to Cayman and it was just not as clean as you would like. Yeah, trying to do too much with not enough, not enough room, not enough space, not enough time. And now we'll see if Somerset can hold the line here. This is gonna be a big defensive. This would be a huge defensive stop if they did. Bloomer with a very strong formation to the quarterback's left. They hand it that way and they are in. Bloomer with their first score of the contest for six good ones. Very strong formation left and they ran right that way. A lot of lead blockers ahead of them that time. Just a couple of mistakes compounded into that touchdown. Jackson Omar is gonna receive the credit for that TD. At the 330 mark, Bloomer breaks the ice and gets onto the scoreboard. Bloomer appears to be going for two. We'll see what they can pull out of their bags of tricks here. Try to make it eight. Prince under center, a long line, nobody behind him. He is all alone, Somerset pointing, trying to get the coverages, fades back, loops it over the middle, and it's incomplete. Incomplete for Bloomer. Somerset escaping that two-point conversion attempt. Kareem Ba was the intended receiver on that two-point conversion attempt. So after a very interesting kind of start of this first half, Andy Rojas 
We thought it was going to be highlighted with the Andy Rojas fumble strip. Strip fumble as the uh, ball carry was going down. He recovers it. Somerset appeared to be wheels all going. And then fumble at the two-yard line. And then one play later for Bloomer. They find themselves on the scoreboard 22-6. Student section getting into this uh, song. We can only assume Jeremy Lesha is in charge of <laughs> the play playlist up there. Somerset looking to receive this one. The kick is much better than the initial kickoff. Rojas faking, <laughs> faking the exchange in the backfield. And he does get Tackled down. Where did he end up? Looks like at about the 35 yard line. Rojas. Rojas taking it. Somerset last year did that exchange a few times. It almost seemed like once per game, at least the home games that we would cover here on the live stream. It seemed like they would do that kind of kickoff exchange because they do have two deep receiving a lot. I think I even remember them doing that on a couple punt returns as well. Yep, you're correct on that one. Somerset in the gun. Donnelly with it, hands it to Gebheim. Gebheim stiff arms a Blackhawk to the ground and a good chunk of yardage for Gebheim, the junior. One play, one first down for Somerset here on this possession. 7-11 left in this third quarter. Nick Tollickson jogging out of the huddle here. Donnelly taking the gun. Gebheim next to him. Out to Donnelly's left is Dylan Lesha. To his right, Andy Rojas. Gebheim with it. Sheds a Blackhawk. Spinorama, they can't no take him down. Finally rallied down. Another first down. Came and Gebheim cannot be stopped, folks. The Marauder. That was a nice run right there. Able to strip the first tackler, kind of do a spin move there, able to get to the outside and able to get the first down. <laughs> Very useful scampers there from Cayman. And we got some action going on. It is... Oh, excuse me, I thought there was a timeout. There was not. Clock is running. Somerset on the offense. Kane. Kane Donnelly, the sophomore quarterback, takes it. Hands it off again to Gebheim. Jumps, hurdles the line. Oh, and appears he loses the ball, but I believe he was down. Yeah, I think they're going to call him. They are going to mark him down, which is the correct call. And again, a good chunk of yardage. Nope, that's oh, a turnover. Oh my oh, wow. goodness. Fumble Gosh, from you, Gebheim. You gotta think the fall there is what made that ball come out, but well, you gotta, I'm not down on the field. Somebody that's watching, turn on the old instant replay machines and let us know on the Spartan live stream uh, social media accounts. We'd love to hear your thoughts on what just transpired because I sure thought that Cayman was down. Even staring at him through my binoculars. The call on the field is a fumble. Bloomer with it. Three fumbles in this second half so far total. Fades, Prince, short little dart. And that is incomplete. Under duress once again. Gebheim challenging Prince in the backfield. I don't even think we have video right now, do we? We do? Okay, good. It's not good video. <laughs> We'll try to do our best to describe what is transpiring on the field. Somerset student section, shaking booties out there. That is the cheer that they are doing. Handoff up the middle, good little chunk of yards there. That is Jackson Omar once again, who is finding a lot of success. I don't believe we saw him in the first half, too often anyways, and now new running back action from Omar. The junior for this Bloomer team. A raucous student section here for Somerset. 
near side. You will catch a glimpse of them in your video feed. If the camera goes much more left, you will see them when Somerset's on the doorstep of a touchdown. Tackled in the backfield, an army of Spartans. Jordan Walters there initially, it appeared. Swallowed up at the line. 4.50 left to go in this third quarter. It's going to be fourth and four. Fourth and four. We will see what Bloomer is going to do. Excuse me, that's not fourth and four. Fourth and seven. Special teams appear to be on the field here. Somerset, Andy Rojas, Kane Donnelly back to receive this punt attempt. Good punt attempt there. Rojas fields it. He's going to take off running. Gains five, gains 10. Gains 13 yards there on the carry back. Rojas is down in Spartan territory at the 46 yard line. Oh, excuse me, 47. Spartans putting the shields away. Got oh, excuse me, we have, a, we have an injury here on the field. Injury timeout. And that is a Spartan. I believe that is Andy Rojas. Athletic trainer Kyle Rudy out there. Fantastic trainer Kyle Rudy. He's been with this school district for a few years now. Hopefully it's just cramps or something. Kyle is stretching Andy's, well, let me see, Andy's right leg. For those of you that can't quite see that on camera. I don't know if anyone can see right now on camera. But we got about four minutes left in the third quarter. Somerset still leading 26. Got the ball back on offense now. Yep, Spartans, a lot of good things happening in that first half. It was brilliant, and now we are finding ourselves a little bit unorganized here in the second half, only because of a couple fumbles. Otherwise, turnovers it has been looking do, good. Tur turnovers do kind of spell, kind of turn of the tide of sorts. But uh, hopefully Somerset can get back on track with this offensive, offensive drive. It's not 100% statistical, but the most, the most uh, significant stat is... Whoever wins the turnover game, wins the game. That's the most significant stat, I believe, in football. A lot of ways to go here for both teams. 20-6. Somerset. A lot of good things happening, but we sure hope that Andy is okay over there on the very opposite side of the field. Still getting stretched out or worked on there by Kyle. College experience quality innovation innovative education at Northwood Technical College a nationally ranked top college where learning comes first find your passion with 80 associate degrees and technical diplomas and experience success visit northwoodtech.edu to learn more as Andy exits the field yep walking across the field towards us now walking grimacing good, to get, good that he can kind of go on his own power of course but Yep, that is good. We sure do need Andy on this Spartan football squad. We'll see see where he's at here, see if he sees any time the rest of the game. All right, first and 10 here for Somerset. <laughs> Andy's got a little bit of a smile on his face, so <laughs> I, I think he'll be back. That's yeah, just I think my so. assumption here. Donnelly catches it in the gun, takes it himself. Oh, under duress and ah. tackle in the backfield. Good wherewithal. By number eight on Bloomer, that's Zeke Strand, who took a lot of the running back snaps and carries there for that squad in the first half. All right, video is back on, it looks like. Again, folks, we're sorry that we have technical difficulties. Uh, first live stream of the season, working with some new equipment. I'm sh I promise we'll, uh, we'll get it right here quick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it right here quick there, guy. Time is 3.34 left in this third quarter. It's going to be second and a whopping 17 here for Somerset. Sawyer Fox in motion. He gets it. He's going to scamper. Eluding Blackhawk defenders. He's got some space. Finds an edge. 
and gallops for a first down. That was a nice cut there by Fox. He found the exact right place on the field to cut and go up the field, and it, it paid off big time for him and the Somerset Spartans. Great run, great read. You can't do it without blocking, and this Spartan team, that front line has been blocking well this game. They have. They've had their moments for sure. I, I mean, as any team will in the first game. Especially but, uh, a high school team. Yes. <laughs> a couple of new starting okay. linemen. On any of the touchdown plays, though, the linemen and blocking have been significant. Yep. Donley with the throws. Right up the gut. Right up the gut. That's Sawyer again re rewarding the young fella with an extra carry. Uh, oh, that's excuse Gebheim. me, that's Gebheim. Sorry. Oh, you're all good. Sorry is one Ross Miller next to me says. A lot of students give him, give him some flack for it. A lot of them? Well, like all of them? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a couple staff, too. Hey, sorry, dear guy. Oh, gosh. That sounds about right. <laughs> Spartans sticking with the gun formation here. Three wide receivers. And to Kane. That's got to be a face mask there. Nope, no call on the field. Oh, excuse me, Gebheim. Gebheim. Not much of a gain there. It's going to be fourth down. Just like that. Oh, fourth excuse down me. I think it's third, isn't it? Is it third down or fourth down? Lindenberg slow on the uh, number change. <laughs> Lindenberg appears to be holding third down. Confirmed. Third, third and down. a couple. Let's see if we can continue this drive. I mean, this is obviously four down territory, so. Absolutely it is. We don't have the 50-yard field goal game quite <laughs> tuned in. Catches it from the gun. Oh, hurtling the line Ooh. gets hit at the line. Shouldn't have left his feet. That's Cayman again. A lot of just hammering up the middle Yep, has been the theme of this possession here for Somerset. And it's fourth and one. Going to be fourth, yep. Fourth and, a, fourth and one Cayman Gebheim foot. It looks cool when you leave your feet and make those jumps, but you're losing that. The churning of your legs, so it's way easier to kind of pop you up the middle and stop you for oh no, it minimal gain. It appears Cayman is kind of cobbling out here. That would be a big loss for Somerset as well. Hopefully he's okay. It goes right to his offensive coordinator. Looks like Kikoffer and uh, Kyle, trainer Kyle, working on him as well. Yeah, could now. just be cramps again. Oh, and the Wildcat Rojas takes it. Tries to find a hole. Is he going to get there? He is not. It does not look like nope. it. Bloomer takes over here. And now. Play yep. just didn't work out that time. Now Gebheim is getting worked on by Kyle. Oops. He's back up and ready to go. Oh, just, just a quick little stretch there and back in. Makes sense. First game, a little bit tight. Time, 1-10 left to go in this third quarter. Almost to that fourth quarter. That magical fourth quarter. Yep. And now we got some some football action here. Under the lights, the Osprey probably don't appreciate it that much. <laughs> for those of you they're that back for another season. <laughs> they're back, they are back for another season. Uh, Hardy Nesters are the Osprey. For those of you that aren't aware or nice tune into tackle the, there. the live stream. I believe that was Chase Webster on the tackle. Webster on the tackle. We have a, a pair, a mating pair of Osprey that made a lovely nest. Uh, opposite side of the field on the second most right light pole. So you will see that if Bloomer is deep within Somerset territory. Right up there. <laughs> <laughs> right up there. As the, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, surveys. Nice pass, but overshot him. Overshot him. Not quite a good connection there from passer to receiver. 41 seconds left. It's going to be a long third down, it looks like. Found to see another pass play here, I'm guessing. Third down, Corey Lindenberg a little late on the old uh, number there. There we go. Third down. Working on it. Third and nine. Bloomer, what do they have up their sleeve? They had a couple kind of dink and dunk passes there over the middle and in the backfield early in this half, finding some success. We'll see if they choose to do that. Under duress, gets Jeez. swallowed up by Somerset. My goodness. It looks like kind of people were just running into each other there a little we bit, almost a broken play. Will McGurn there, came in Gebheim. Just ate him up there in the backfield. Gebheim slow to get up again as he is staying on the field. Bloomer, are they going for this? No, I don't think they so. Their punter's so. back. <laughs> okay. Their punter finally exited the huddle. That seems more of a fourth quarter uh, 
fourth quarter type play. That was going to be a Although little... They are going to have to go down the field here and punt in the opposite direction as the third quarter is done. Final score at the end of the third quarter. Somerset has 20. Bloomer, the Blackhawks, they traveled an hour and 10 minutes to get here. They have six currently. Going to enter the fourth quarter with some momentum in Somerset's favor. That third quarter was full of some very interesting... Uh, V interesting turnover and exchange of possessions. There are three total fumbles, all highlighted and initiated by Andy Rojas. A strip fumble right away. Got the crowd very excited, and then we gave it right back to them. One play later, after Bloomer was on the two-yard line, they found themselves on the scoreboard. Got a quick uh, Packer update here. Packers are leading at halftime, 13-10 to against the Saints. Jordan Love did connect with Romeo Dobbs on a uh, touchdown pass. So Great. There you go. The future. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> the future here. <laughs> we have uh, <laughs> Eddie Lacy is piggybacking off of uh, whoever that Packer is right there. You can see him on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeseburger Eddie, we call him back in Somerset. Gosh. What a, what a fun couple of years we got to see him, and then it just ended. <laughs> well, we want to take a quick nod to Wisconsin Credit Union for being one of our proud sponsors here. They are proud to support all Spartan athletics here at Somerset. Wisconsin has support, supported local graduating high schoolers for nearly 25 years with their local scholarship programs. It's a smart way for your favorite student to earn $1,000 for their education. Learn more about their scholarship program at wisconsincu.org. Thanks, Wisconsin Credit Union. We have a lovely, ominous kind of covering, a blanket of cumulus clouds out here this evening. It appears to be almost reminiscent of an October football game here, even though it's August. Yeah, it's almost chilly. Yes. No complaints here. Snap is away. Punt is gone. Fielded. And, oh. oh they're going to call that one back. They're going to call it back because his knee was down. Oh. Yep, I think they... Did I? I didn't even need my binoculars for that one. Tell you what, the one time that a ball came to me on a kickoff in my football career, <laughs> did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ross Miller, speaking of you, do you want to tell the listening audience your high school record you have? I don't know if I do. <laughs> oh, you don't have it anymore? Oh, oh, I, oh I do have it. I don't oh, know if I you don't want to share. Them. Okay. I can just say I, I hold a receiving record uh, <laughs> at Wasa East High School. <laughs> Well, any, those who know, know. <laughs> anybody that takes any of my classes, uh, Mr. Anderson science classes, we do bingo often, and half of the bingo things are science things, and half are uh, fun staff facts. Well, that's a flag here. We got a flag for something. Going to have to listen to Jeremy Lesho. It's going to be on Somerset. Uh oh, 12 <laughs> men in the huddle. 12 men in the huddle. After that, that backs up Somerset. It's going to be first and 15 here. Lots of wideouts for Donnelly. Under duress, lets it fly over, thankfully, over the defense. That was a little shorter. That one would have been picked off. Kind of hit as he threw there. Yep, definitely under duress there. It's going to be second down. As we welcome one new superintendent here at Somerset School District, Miss Shannon Donnelly. How are you doing? Hello, live stream team. It is awesome to be back. The band is back together. That's this is right. fantastic. Absolutely. <laughs> Much nicer weather than we would have had last night. So this is awesome. Yes. Yes, we tried to tell the folks that didn't quite uh, <laughs> make it out to the game, maybe anticipating the weather. It was as forecasted. Very, very dark. Oh, a little option there. For there we Payne. go. Gabe Allen scampering. That's going to be a first down or very close. That was a nice play right there. That was a very good option. Haven't seen that yet tonight. Good wherewithal, good IQ. We can only assume that Kane is doing drills at the Donnelly household. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the option back, right? So you kind of roll outside and get that pitch. We are setting up all kinds of things in the backyard. <laughs> you bet. 
So, Superintendent Donnelly, oh, yes. geez, I'm not even used to saying that yet. Right? Uh, what I know. can you what how is the Somerset School District doing right now? Like what is going on with oh. us? What can you tell the people? All the things, all the things. We are getting pumped for staff to come back next week, which is going to be awesome. Following week. Hang on, here's a play. Pass over the right middle. He finds oh! him. One man to beat couldn't <laughs> quite get there. Thread the needle. Wow. Threading the needle. That's <laughs> Landon. Oh, excuse me. Wrong Jack right. Career, I believe. Jack Career. Career. Oh, wow. Sophomore to sophomore. You bet. Yep. There's a buddy to buddy right yep. there. That was awesome. <laughs> what a throw. I like it. Yeah, real quick. Uh, district's doing awesome. Staff are coming back next week. Students the following week. Always a super fun time of the year. Campus kind of starts to come alive with activities and sports and all kinds of things happening. So we're pumped. We're excited. We're ready. Absolutely, yeah. We, uh, as a staff member here in the district, I can say I am excited for this coming school year. So many fun things to look forward to here, starting with student athletics. Yep, and it's going to be great. Participating right here. going to be great. Donnelly with it in the gun, in motion. Sawyer, he's going to take it, sweeping left. There finds an angle. And that's a good positive yard there. Chunk of change. Looks like he's going to gain about five on that one. I just have to say, I feel like we are seeing awesome things from our Spartans tonight. 100%. Right? Lots of emotions, lots of things kind of going on, getting ready for tonight's game, first game of the year, and wow, lots and lots of awesome things to celebrate. Looking great. Absolutely. Trying some new things here. Oh, and it appears we got a timeout. Who called that timeout? There you go. Well, Miss Donnelly, uh, what's happening? Hi, Mr. Wallen. What's, uh, what's <laughs> happening this November? <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> let's talk about that. So... Our school board had an awesome discussion last week and voted to move forward with a two-question referendum November 8th. So lots more information is going to be coming out to our community, our stakeholders, to kind of find out what that's all about. I'm um, going to be looking uh, to put on the ballot information regarding a uh, upgrade to our current stadium. As many of you know, we haven't been, hold a, been able to hold a track meet in 10-plus years. Um, looking to add an auditorium to our high school. We're one of the few, if not the only high school in the area currently that does not have an auditorium. So really in desperate need of something like that for our students. Um, also looking at some maintenance to our elementary school in addition to looking to bring a softball and baseball field on campus, which is also something we currently do not have, as well as uh, add a gym space. So. Look for lots of information, lots of statistics, lots of details coming to help people stay informed. Um, but yeah, November 8th is going to be a big day. Just saying, if, and if I was a community member and I wanted to find out more information, yes. where the heck would I go? I'm going to tell you where to go. There is a awesome referendum 2022 link on our website. We are putting all information in there. Everything's current, everything up to date. We just added something yesterday, as a matter of fact. So that's going to be kind of your one-stop shop. We're directing people to go there. Lots of things to click on. You can uh, view the board meeting from last week. Lots of great things. So as I said, lots of information coming to make sure that people have all the information they need when they vote. Fantastic. Well, that is awesome. You bet. All, you bet. In, the, all in the name of student success there here you in go. the school district. There you go. Yep, absolutely. So I want to give you guys one more shout-out before I take off because this job is so important, and I'm so grateful because this is a luxury that we have, right? Lots of districts don't do this anymore, so this is awesome. So thank you for your live-streaming hard work. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Um, yes, we appreciate it. Trying oh, we got best. And finding the and end zone. Oh, there's, oh a flag. there's a flag. Oh. That's not good. He no. was just kidding, but that was a heck of a run. <laughs> that, yeah. Oh, no. man. I don't oh. have a good feeling about that one. I mean, that would usually be a hold. I'm Maybe he's going to pick it up and yep, say, no, whoopsies. Just kidding. <laughs> it fell out of the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it fell, and I threw it at the same time. Oh. Regardless, fantastic run by Kane Donnelly <laughs> there. Let's Kane see. hitting that second gear around yeah. the corner there. It's going to be awesome. a hold on Somerset. Oh. Zebras gathered at the watering hole. Came out with a, a hold call. Well, I appreciate you guys having me up here. I knew this was going to be of just course. a quick stop. Yeah, and I wanted to say hi to my favorite live stream crew. <laughs> Awesome. Wait a second. The We're the work. only live stream. <laughs> no, crew. is that true? Is that true? I don't know. Well, we appreciate the stops as always, keeping the community informed. You bet. You bet. Go Spartans. Love it. <laughs> Go Spartans, indeed. We're going to see them on the second attempt here. It's officially second down here. And we got to run up the middle. 
for very little gain. Benny, looks like it's going to be... It's Fox again there, it looks like. Third and about... God, what are they marking? Third and ten now. Yep. Third and ten. Boy, backs against the wall under duress. Third down, knocking on the doors of another TD. We'll see what Somerset has up their sleeves. Drawing up the Somerset special, I would imagine, one Ben Keekoffer there on the sideline. Takes in the snap, hands it up to Sawyer. Sawyer bouncing off a couple of Blackhawks. And another short gain on that one. Will we see a field goal? What do you guys think? I think we're probably going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth down and looks like six? My, uh, expert analysis six? on this one would indicate that. We're probably not kicking any field goals. <laughs> Fourth and six. Let's see what they got. Sawyer Fox comes out of the, out of the huddle here. We've got a lot of wide receivers, four of them to be exact. Donnelly under the gun. Get behind him to his right. He looks left. He scampers left. Lobs it. Up, Open. and it's good! Andy Rojas with the touchdown reception deep in the corner. Wow. I know I've said that a lot tonight, but wow. What a lovely <laughs> just display of poise and confidence from our young sophomore quarterback, Kane Donnelly. Beautiful touch pass, wide open, and just wow. As I say, I'm not, uh, not much of a stats man, but I do believe that's four for four for Donnelly with three touchdowns. I think so. I think he might have one incompletion where he was hit early. Oh, yep. yep but Four for five, man. three touchdowns. <laughs> just I've been very, very impressive. We haven't, we haven't seen a passing game like that in my time here. I don't think ever. We oh got Superintendent gosh. Don Lee waving proudly, <laughs> scampering with the Somerset flag. Oh, classic. What? <laughs> <laughs> Kane, don't look over here. Your mom's embarrassing you. <laughs> just kidding. Hand off mixed direction. Gabe Allen muscles. Ooh. And he's not going to get it. Ball's on the ground. He was trying to reach for the goal line. Got picked up and driven into the ground there. That is no good. Score after a lovely little pass play to a fade in the corner for Andy Rojas. Sophomore to senior connection. 26 Somerset, 6 Bloomer. Gosh, getting everyone involved on offense. Each, every, uh, each touchdown has been by a different player. I mean, absolutely just dissecting this defense once in a while with this passing game. I'm not sure what kind of spurs it on, but... Well, I mean, that on that play specifically, Kane had to make a nice play to get around the edge there, and I think a lot of it has been just really good playmaking under pressure. Every pass has been right where it needs to be, been leading his receivers really well. Um, I, I think some of these passes, honestly, outside of just some of them a little bit of blown coverage, but... You can't really do that much. You can't be all that frustrated if you're Bloomer because Kane Donnelly is making plays against you. He absolutely is. You're not beating is. yourself. He's beating you right now. He, so. He's playing older than he is. As a sophomore, you don't really uh, anticipate a lot of that just confidence and poise to just kind of stand in there or move outside the pocket and refocus on what's downfield. Yep. That is very, very tough. And we're talking about high school athletes here, and they're never going to be perfect, but... Donnelly is as perfect as you can probably get for your coming out party for being a quarterback. Oh, fakes the exchange. Bloomer is going to scamper. Gallop to looks like the 32-yard line. 32-yard line. Just over eight minutes to go here in this one. Eight minutes to go. First down for Bloomer. The Blackhawks looking to put more on the scoreboard here. Down by 20. We'll see what they can do. Shrink this deficit as much as they can. And there is immediately a timeout <laughs> on Bloomer. That is very interesting. Timeout for Bloomer. We want to take some more opportunities to thank Wisconsin Credit Union. Wisconsin Credit Union is proud to support Somerset Athletics. Wisconsin Credit Union's express loan servicing is all about convenience with a quick and easy online application and a loan approval process that often takes just a day or less. Learn more at wisconsincu.org. And Northwood Technical College, experience quality, innovative education at Northwood Technical College, a nationally ranked top college where learning comes first. 
Find your passion with 80 associate degrees and technical diplomas and experience success. Visit northwoodtech.cu or edu, excuse me, northwoodtech.edu to learn more. We got a lovely cheer section here, student section here, off to our right here on the right of your screen. You will see them when Somerset is, uh, or excuse me, you only see them when Bloomer's deep into Somerset territory. We want you to see the, see the student section, but maybe we don't, folks. We don't want to <laughs> see Bloomer down that far. And if you haven't noticed, we are not the unbiased broadcasting association. We root for the Spartans here. Bloomer going to start this possession at the 30. Guessing we're going to see more passing here. Scampers. Oh, a wide open. Oh, my goodness. Lobs it. Swallowed up. Couldn't quite get him down. And down with the tackle. <laughs> One Jameson Wink with, I believe, his first tackle. His mother, Jessica Wink, last time I checked, was watching at home. Yep, Jameson with a nice uh, finish there. Jay Monster, as they call him. Yes, Jay Monster with an A, not an er. Monster. See if he can repeat that effort. Back once again, rolling right. Prince lobs it. He's got an open man. Wide open. And Donnelly is the last man to take him down. A huge gain for Bloomer. That That's a 40 yard Rojas gain. Rojas on that one and just secondary looked a bit lost. Broken uh, coverage on that play, certainly. That's the biggest play for Bloomer this contest by far. Time is ticking. 7.25 left in this contest, folks. Bloomer down by 20 and sure playing like it right now. Lobbing it downfield, trying to make some magic happen. A little pixie dust for him. We got a timeout here, Somerset timeout. <laughs> Head coach Joe Hutter calling this timeout. We'll see what he's got to say to his players here after a long play from Bloomer. Probably not super happy after that. <laughs> <laughs> After a break. Not the happiest the camper. <laughs> but the longest play for Bloomer by far was that play. Um, I don't know if Bloomer can say quite the same thing about our own Spartans as we have a few very high uh, yardage plays on in this contest. Let me see. Let me let me think about it in my head here, Ross Miller. We got a like a 68-yard TD, which was our first touchdown. Second touchdown was about a 40-yard yeah, I was thinking toss. Around high 30s, around 40. Toss up the sideline to Dylan Lesha. Then we had a, oh man, a 20-ish yard run by Kamen Gebheim. Yep. A junior. And then our last touchdown was a shorter one. I think that was only about a 10 yard, little lofty, brilliant poised, escaping the pocket, lofted up to Andy Rojas. Scoring from all over the field. And you gotta like what you see as far as that goes. Somerset trying some new things, and they are working so far here. Defense is also playing brilliant. Yep, holding Bloomer to six points so far. That Those points coming off of a fumble on the two-yard line. And yes. Bloomer scoring. Yep, so you can read into that all you would like. Starting from the two usually is not very good. Taken wow, down. Nice wrap-up tackle there. Yeah, Dylan Lesh on that wrap-up in the open field. Number one, Karsten Berg, junior on the Bloomer squad. With the reception. Under seven minutes to go here in this one. Bloomer taking their time at the line. That's something you normally see when you're down 20 in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Prince under center. Motion in the backfield. Takes it, fakes the pitch, rolls to his right, throws it back to his left. And they got some blocking set up, folks. Oh, taken down. Some blocking set up. Some that was a nice tackle by Kamen Gebheim, kind of coming from behind the play to make the tackle. That's Karim Ba on that reception. Nice little misdirection play, almost like a screen. Yep, almost a tight end screen there. Yep. Yeah, Ba, number 84. He's had a couple of nice plays. He's a big guy. He is a big guy. Classic kind of tight end senior. He's listed at 6'1", 230. In the strong formation. Ooh, Spartan almost blew that one up. 
And that's still going to be a tackle for yep. no gain. Able to drive him behind the line there, and that will shut up, set up a fourth and short here. Boy, I did not that quite was a big catch. Play. I didn't catch who that was, but put the replay machines on. There was one Spartan that was right there. Almost that blew that play. one up. Fourth and about two. Fourth and two. This is a big one. Somerset, the Spartans looking on from our own sideline. The student section right behind them. Everybody's oh, looking on jumped. to stop them. That we was jumped. false start. Ooh, th we're thinking up here in the booth that that was a jump on the offensive line. Yep, false start. So that's going to so back them up. And six, fourth and seven now. Yep. Spartans get a break there. That was a break. Indeed, As Ross Miller. Bloomer really, I don't think they've had any penalties this game so far. Very minimal. Minimal penalties in general, which you, you like to see in a high they, school football game. <laughs> yes, yeah, you don't necessarily <laughs> watch the game to see penalties. Blo Bloomer <laughs> did have one massive penalty. Remember the very first play of the half? Yes. They had that weird, that weird penalty. Other than that, they've been very clean for sure. Bill Belichick would be proud. <laughs> do your job. <laughs> <laughs> Just do your job. <laughs> Bloomer lining up. They got two, oh, excuse me, three wideouts. Oh, Kinda excuse me, wide four. Down. Yeah. Gonna going wide angle here. Wide, taking it in the eye, though. I don't think they've done any really shotgun. Nope. Oh, under duress, already scrambling, and he nice gets play. wrapped up. Ball's on the ground. Ball's on the ground. That's a fumble. Either way, it's fourth down. And <laughs> Gabe Allen hoists the ball <laughs> over his head, recovering. Gabe Allen, the senior. Somerset might be able to <laughs> run this one down now. It's about that time. We got 440. On the clock, 48. Big turnover on down there, and Somerset just needs to finish this one off, get their first victory on the season and their first game. Absolutely, and a Good special game at that. Yep. We will see what they have up their sleeve. Can't run the game out unless we get first downs. So that is the truth. There is the, a balance to the whole thing. High school organization, what can they draw up for us here? We got Dylan Lesha way out near side. Rojas in motion. Rojas is going to take the sweep. Oh, Gebheim just put a Blackhawk on his back blocking. Rojas has some room. Runs over another Blackhawk. And I think he stayed in bounds too, but and he is not feeling great on that left leg. Rojas is not feeling well, and he is visually upset. <laughs> Kyle immediately is lifting his leg and stretching it out. <laughs> Looks like it's just an innocent case of the cramps. Which is good. Got to drink some electrolytes there, son. Yeah, Got to prepare on game day. That's usually what it comes down to. And this is the first game. So, I mean, us as a live stream crew, them, both teams down there, it's the first time for everything this season. And we're yep. working through the kinks here. And it looks like there is a Injury timeout. 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 Flag marker's got to be moving. There is a first down, so Andy did give the Spartans a first down. Looks like it's going to be a first down coming out of this timeout in Bloomer territory, so from Bloomer's 47-yard line. 46 and a half, as Jeremy Lesha would tell us. Half yards count. Somerset, 26. Bloomer, 6. And if you are tuning in here, if you... Haven't met us quite yet. This is the Spartan live stream crew. Myself, Keaton Anderson, next to me to my right, operating the camera that you are looking at, is one Will Ross Miller, English teacher here at Somerset High School. And then looking over his shoulder at our some of our live stream stuff is another producer, Cody Wallen, social studies teacher here at the high school. A lot of high schoolers here on leading the charge with the live stream crew. We usually have one Jess Wink as a kind of our sports insider as she has sons as well as a husband that coaches many things. So she can usually give us the inside scoop on a lot of stuff. Couldn't quite make it here. But you will know of Jess if you are new to the live stream and join us for future broadcasts. Yep, we've been staying right around 100 people watching the broadcast here tonight, which is pretty awesome. So thank you folks for tuning in and uh, kind of sticking with us through all the technical difficulties, <laughs> chat difficulties. Working through some stuff, making sure that it gets polished here as the season goes on. So we appreciate you sticking with us. Couldn't do it without the support we have from the community. So uh, thank you, folks, again. We really appreciate you tuning into this one. Back to football. Somerset under the shotgun. Donnelly Kane is his first name. Sophomore. 
Sophomore quarterback sending a man in motion. Gives it to him. Sweeping right to left. He's going to find a corner, finding the edge. Number 11. Yeah, number 11. That's a number we haven't called yet. Jaden Patterson. Jaden Patterson. I believe he's a junior transfer student from Hudson. Nice run. That was a good little sweeping run. Sawyer Fox coming in. Patterson coming out. I like how you say transfer like he entered the transfer portal. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to see where he could make the most sponsor money and chose Somerset. <laughs> Somerset in the gun, which has been a popular formation. Two wide receivers, two canes right, one left. Fakes it, the option. Ooh, He's nice going cut. up the middle. Good cut. He's got some room to run. Oh, good blocking ahead of him. Finding the seam, weaving his way <laughs> through the Blackhawk defense and dissecting. Kane's still looking for his first uh, rushing touchdown of the game, so... <laughs> Trying to break Cam Newton's wow. rookie record, 14, I believe. As this is Kane's rookie season being the head head honcho under center. Time is ticking down here. Might be scoring a touchdown, though, before that time runs out. I mean, Somerset, I mean, Rossi, as you were talking, like they just kind of got to tick this one away and come out with a win, but they're anything but right now. They're on the attack well, I mean, early on in the season, you're get these are reps. These are important reps, especially once you get to conference play. So if they're gonna, if they want to try something out, oh my goodness, whew. just shedding, shedding yeah. Blackhawks. Yeah, double like, digit broken tackles on the night. That Kane was <laughs> that was huge. Oops, we have another Spartan Chase down. Webster, and that's see, that's what you don't want in a game like this in a non-conference game. Hopefully, again, it's just a cramping situation. Oh, Webster's already up. He's like, yeah. Kyle, get out of here. I don't need you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> and our trainer is no nonsense. So that makes sense. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle Rudy has a fantastic relationship with all of our athletes here at Somerset. Yep. They know him quite well. He's a great guy. He is well loved and appreciated. <laughs> They're not afraid to say, Kyle, I'm not hurt. <laughs> Troy Wink and Ben Kikoff are there coming out of the huddle. Trying to tell these Spartans how to end this contest. Donnelly in the gun. Two Geb minutes to go. Yep. Gebheim to his right. Two-minute warning is upon us. In motion. Fakes. Great job reading the yep. emptiness of that line. Patience. I mean, patience is really hard to teach, um, but Kane had some nice patience there, and he had the vision to kind of go up the middle, let his blockers do the work, and get going. Yeah, I think we have a some, I, we we got something re, a, really special here, folks. I think we're starting to see glimmers of the shining star that could be out there for sure. And Kane Donnelly, he's showing a lot of just more mature qualities as a, a rookie quarterback. That's the hope, and I mean, it's always helpful to start a season with a win. Confidence is really important in any team sport. So, if you yeah. feel like if you believe you can go out there and beat any team you're playing against, that goes a long way. Absolutely, he receives it. He's going to take this one again. He's got some room. Is he going to make it? He He's going to make it. Kane Donnelly with his first rushing touchdown as quarterback and showing off his legs there, the young sophomore. Great way to end the night there for Somerset. Yep, that's basically an official end of the night there as you got 1 minute 11 seconds to go. Really epitomizes what Somerset's been able to do here, and it's really been the Kane Donnelly show. I think so. We got the Somerset flag here running by an unidentified child. <laughs> we don't know who that is. Definitely not old enough to be in the high school. I scored so many touchdowns that uh, <laughs> got to use quite a few different flag runners. I, I feel like, and this could be wrong, so please correct me, but is this like the most touchdowns we've had in a game for a, a while, I think? At least in a home game. Yeah, I think in a home game. All right, going for two. Donnelly after the rushing touchdown. He's going to go for it. Just plows yeah. through a Blackhawk and converts for two. Just wanting it. Willpower plowing through a Bloomer player. There you go, 34-6. That's quite the impressive uh, show here for the Spartans, offensively and defensively. We can't forget about defense. Offense is usually the more glamorous thing in any sporting event, but defense... 
Defense wins it most of the time. Get a quick shot of the cheerleaders here. Yep, doing and the, the student section still out and about. The school cheer here by the cheer squad. They've had to do that school cheer four times today. Yeah. Awesome. That might be more than we did it all of last season. Yeah, honestly. Five times, yeah. Let's go Spartans. Great cheer section here. Looks like Kyle Larson there with the headset. The shiny stuff around his noggin. He's organizing the special teams here. He must be responsible for kickoff. There's another insight we got from Brandon Barry is that there's no one true special teams coach. It's just each coach kind of has their own special team that they are in charge of. Ah. Tyler Hutter, nice kick lofty fielded at the 20. Gonna run, still, still running. running, still running. Nice return there from Bloomer. And Bloomer's gonna take this one with one minute, five seconds. From, let me see, they still haven't quite placed the ball here. Looks like it's gonna be about the 38 yard line, 37 yard line. That's what Jeremy Lesha said. Well, if Jeremy Lesha said it, it's right. <laughs> 100% right, 100% of the time. Wow. You heard it here first. <laughs> Bloomer in the strong formation here. Hands it off. Goes to their right. Far side of the field. And looks like they are just looking to jog out of this one here. Dylan Lesha coming out of the huddle. Might start seeing some new names here we haven't quite seen. Levi Lindbergh subbing in. Anthony Carrick goes in there. And Owen Forenkamp. Owen Forenkamp, part of the Anderson Advisory at the high school. Got a quarterback substitution as well. Oh, a leaping little throw. <laughs> I, I was kind of lost on that play. <laughs> <A le> <laughs> not, not the best camera work. <laughs> <laughs> a leaping little scampering throw. That, who is that? That was their other quarterback. Uh, Bloomer's kind of substitute quarterback, or he came in for that lofty end of the half play. Keegan um, Yonk. Apologies, Keegan. My name is Keaton, so Keegan, I, I feel your pain. Nobody can spell your name. <laughs> and there we go. That is it. Final score here on a very special, memorable night here for the Somerset community and the Somerset School District, honoring one late coach Bruce Larson in fantastic fashion. 34 is the final score for Somerset, 34 to Bloomer, 6. And we had a lovely student section here. A special thanks to Superintendent uh, Shannon Donnelly for joining us, informing you all about the upcoming referendum vote this fall, this November 8th. And up here in the booth, I'm Keaton Anderson. We got Will Ross Miller producing and Cody Wallen producing as well here on the Spartan live stream. We want to thank Wisconsin Credit Union for sponsoring this evening, as well as Northwood Technical College. And special thanks also to all of the fans and Bloomer as a team for moving and being flexible with the game move after last night's storm here. Storm out, could not get her done yesterday. Will McGurin, the senior, leads the charge. And this team is just all, all stars in their eyes, happy as can be. They're going to be glad to sing their song here. And if you tune in real close, maybe you're good at reading lips, you'll hear what they have to say. <laughs> they're pretty hard to understand. They're, they're very quiet down there. Not much for the choir guys down there. <laughs> Andy Rojas also out there leading the way. Senior leader now on this team. I'd say it usually takes about 20 seconds to sing the school song. They yeah. do it in about five seconds <laughs> and in about just as many syllables. <laughs> <laughs> and one, two, three, done.
And that's going to do well, it that, here. That is uh, better than they usually do. They actually carried a tune a little bit for the first <laughs> half, and then it just kind of went really quick at the end. But Maybe we got some good uh, kind of altos and baritones out there to lead the charge from now on. A win oh. is going to motivate them more to sing more of it anyway, too. So, Yes, wins feel good. Joel Hutter's first game as head coach and his first win, and an emotional one at that. Any last thoughts, you guys? <laughs> Will and Cody. Sorry, I didn't no. have my mic on. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Good start to the season. We're uh, hopeful to fix some of our technical difficulties here and look forward to the re remainder of the football season here. Hopefully bring some boys soccer action to you this year as well as our usual uh, volleyball games as well. Yes, and when is the next upcoming football game that we might see? Sorry to put you on the spot yes. here. All right. Yes, we might be do. We'll be doing some soccer, and always, as always, we'll be doing all home football games. If I remember correctly, our home schedule is pretty heavy, kind of later in the season. Yeah, we're. Hold on. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> football versus Baldwin on September second will be our next football game. All right, September second, y'all. We'll but the, and the plan is that this coming Tuesday, the twenty third, we will uh, broadcast our first boys soccer match. Depending against, on weather. Depending on weather. Depending on if we can fix some of our technical glitches here, and uh, that'll be against Regis at I believe four thirty. Awesome. Well, we are going to end things here from Robert A. Seibel Field. Go Spartans.